U and B Z and non judgment S sensitive to needs of the silent E emphatic L listen effectively L let the silent make decision O open mind R respect the rights of the silence qualities of counselor interpersonal relationship personal adjustment educational background health and personal appearance leadership philosophy of life professional dedication function of counselor program of guidance counseling and its organization orientation data collection interviewing individual counseling or site agencies placement and follow-up Problems in counseling, resistant to counseling either by counselor or by faculty. Counseling with different cultures, the nursing students will come from different cultural backgrounds. They will have their own set of values and expectations. Counseling individuals with strong emotions such as anxiety, anger, depression, intimacy, which will hinder counseling process. Counselor burn out the symptom such as restlessness, boredom, irritability, lethargy, fatigue, negative feelings can be managed by changing role, environment, approach taking care of themselves, e.g. enough sleep, rest, eat, play, entertainment, accept others with lack of awareness of value of counseling by public, inadequate administrative setup, lack of physical facilities, non availability of time and tools, dirt of training facilities for counselors, culture, reasons for ineffective communication and counseling, ineffective communication skills used by counselor, Failure to listen on the post of the counselor, conflicting verbal and nonverbal messages, a judgmental attitude, misunderstanding because of multiple meaning of English words, false reassurance, giving advice rather than encouraging the person to make decisions. Applications of counseling, nursing, employee counseling. Counseling helps improve employees' mental health, thus in changing understanding, self-control, self-confidence and consequently their ability to work effectively improves upward and downward. Communication allows employees to express their feelings to management. Individual homes must be kept confidential, e.g. directive counseling occurs when counselor listens to employees' problems, decides how to solve the problems, tells the employee what to do. Outplacement counseling. Outplacement counseling can be used to minimize the emotional and professional scaring that result from being dismissed from one's position. Student counseling, adjustment counseling, crisis counseling. Marriage counseling. Vocational counseling, behavioral counseling, interpersonal counseling, bereavement counseling, problem solving counseling, dietary counseling, motivational counseling, physiological counseling, clinical counseling, keep moral hike. Individual counseling theory and practice summary. The effective counselor. The most important instrument you have is you. Your living example of who you are and how you struggle to live up to your potential is powerful. Be authentic. The stereotyped professional role can be shaped. If you hide behind your role, the ceiling will also hide. Be a therapeutic person and be clear about who you are, be willing to grow, to risk, to care, and to be involved. Personal characteristic of effective counselors have an identity, respect and appreciate themselves, able to recognize and accept own power, open to change, make choice which affect their lives. 
feel alive, make life oriented choice, authentic, sincere, and honest. Have a sense of humor. Make mistakes and admit them. Live in the present. Appraise the influence of culture. Sincere interest in welfare of others. Involved in and drive meaning from work. Maintain healthy boundaries. Ethical decision making. The principles that underlie our professional codes benefit others, don't harm, respect others' autonomy, be just, fair and faithful. The role of ethical codes, they educate us about responsibilities, are a basis for accountability, protect clients, are a basis for improving professional practice, making ethical decisions, identify the problem, review relevant codes, seek consultation, brainstorm, list consequences and decide. Silence rights. Silence need enough information about the counseling process to be able to make informed choice, educate silence, about their rights and responsibilities. Confidentiality is essential but not absolute exceptions. The silence poses a danger to other or self. A silent under the age of 16 is the victim of abuse. The silence needs to be hospitalized. The information is made an issue in a court action. The silent rescue is a release of record. Multicultural issues. Bases are reflected when we neglect social and community factors to focus entirely on individualism. As a silence with instruments have not been normed on the population they represent, judge as physical, pathological behaviors, belief, or experiences that are normal for the silence culture. Dual relationship. Some helpful questions. Will my dual relationship keep me from confronting and challenging the silence? Will my needs for the relationship become more important than therapeutic activities? Can my silence manage the dual relationship? Whose needs are being met? My silence or my own? Can I recognize and manage professionally my attraction to my silence? Physical analytic theory. The development of personality, oral stage, related to later mistrust and rejection issues. Anal stage. Related to later personal power issues, phallic stage, related to later sexual attitudes, latency stage, a time of socialization, genital stage, sexual energies are invested in life, the structure of personality, the ID, the demanding child, ruled by the pressure principle, the ego, the traffic cop, ruled by the reality principle, the superego, the judge, ruled by the moral principle, the unconscious, clinical evidence for postulating the unconscious, dreams, sleeps of the tangu, physiognomic suggestion. Material derived from free association, material derived from projective techniques, symbolic content of physicotic symptoms. Note, consciousness is only a thin slice of the total mind. Ego defense mechanisms. Ego defense mechanisms are normal behaviors which operate on an unconscious level and tend to deny or disturb reality, help the individual cope with anxiety and prevent the ego from behind overwhelmed, have adaptive value if they don't become a style of life to avoid facing reality. Physical analytic techniques 
free education, silence reports immediately without concerning and feelings are tells. Interpretation. Trappist points out, explains and teaches the meanings of whatever is related. Dream analysis. Trappist used the royal road to the unconscious to bring unconscious material to light. Transference and content transference. Transference. The silent tracks to the therapist as he did to an early significant other. The allows the silent to experience feelings that would otherwise be inaccessible. And as all transference allows the silent to achieve insight into the influence of the past. Contact transference, the reaction of the therapist towards the silence that may interfere with objectivity, resistance, anything that works against the process of therapy and prevents the production of unconscious material, analysis of resistance, help the silent to see that cancelling appointments, filing, from therapy prematurely are ways of defending against anxiety. These acts interfere with the ability to accept change which could lead to a more satisfying life. Adlerian therapy Alfred Adler's individual psychology A phenomenological approach, social interest is stressed, but other and sibling relationship, therapy as teaching, forming and encouraging, basic mistakes in the silence provide logic, the therapeutic relationship, a collaborative partnership, the phenomenological approach, Adlerians attempt to weave the world from the silent subject to frame of reference. How life is in reality in less important than how the individual believes life to be. It is not the childhood experiences that are crystal. It is our present interpretation of these events. Unconscious instincts and our past don't determine our behavior. Social interest. Adler's most signification and distinctive concept refers to an individual's attitude toward an awareness of behind a part of the human community. Mental health is measured by the degree to which we successfully share with others and are concerned with their welfare. Happiness and success are largely related to social connectedness. Bird order. Endless five physiological positions. One. Oldest child receives more tension, spoiled, center of tension. Two. Second of only two. Behaves as if in a rise, often opposite to first child. Three. Middle. Often feels secured out. Four. Youngest. The baby. Five. 5. Only doesn't learn to share or cooperate with other children, learns to deal with adults. Encouragement. Encouragement is the most powerful method available for changing a person's beliefs. Helps build self-confidence and stimulates courage. Discouragement is the basic condition that prevents people from functioning. Clients are encouraged to recognize that they have the power to choose and to act differently. Existential therapy. Existential therapy. Physiological, intellectually approach to therapy. Basic dimensions of the human condition. The capacity for self-awareness. The tension between freedom and responsibility. The creation of an identity and establishing meaningful relationship. The search for meaning. Reception anxiety as a condition of living. The awareness of deed and non-being. 
the capacity for self-awareness. The greater our awareness, the greater our possibilities for freedom. Awareness is realizing that we are finite, time is limited. We have the potential, this choice, to act or not to act. Meaning is not automatic. We must seek it. We are subject to loneliness, meaninglessness, emptiness, guilt, and isolation. Identity and relationship. Identity is the courage to be. We must trust ourselves to search within and find our own answers.